The Synchrony's Research and Development Center here in Edmonton has been crucial and integral to our success in the oil sands development. Some people say that a lot of the technologies used in oil sands mining today were developed by Syncrude and just adapted by other companies. So to us and, uh, and I think to the industry, this center has been crucial to oil sands development in Alberta. All of the research we do in this center relates to oil sands development, everything from getting it out of the ground to processing it through uh, separating the oil from the sand, through the uh, tailings, understanding how we can remediate and reclaim tailings, um, to the environmental impacts that we have. So lower energy consumption, air emissions, soil, land reclamation, um, every part of the oil sands development process is what we study in this center. More than $60 million this year is what we're spending on our research and technology development in this center. More than half of that now is on the environmental side of things. That's not including the field tests that we have up north and this is such a great partnership. We have the kind of the lab work done in this research and development center but we have the capability because of the sites up north to do the field pilot tests. So that is actually what is done in this center. There's a lot of research being done at this centre into understanding wetlands and understanding how to reconstruct wetlands in oil sands reclamation. We want to return the area um, as close to what it was before we were there as possible. So putting wetlands back into the area is really important to us and because it's important to our stakeholders and it is part of responsible development. The recovery is an important part because if you have a, an efficient, reliable operation and uh, recovering as much of the bitumen as possible, it's good on, on a number of fronts. So it's good for our bottom line. Um, second, that it's by law we're required to recover a certain percentage of the bitumen. Thirdly, it's good for the environment because the more that we recover through the process, the less goes into our tailings and so the less hazardous our tailings ponds are to waterfowl and other wildlife. There have been different technology developments that we've made that allow us to recover more of the bitumen and, uh, and we still are researching other ways that we can do that. So this is actually the first stage in the process and we saw it in our pilot plant out back. This is actually oil sand. In the process, what we're really trying to get to is 100% bitumen. These three are examples of our tailings. What happens in the process, the bitumen floats to the top sand settles to the bottom and then in the middle part is the clays and they stay suspended. So all the tailings technologies in development today are to address the, the clay particle layer. The end product that we ship at Syncrude is called a Syncrude Sweet Blend and so it's like a Texas crude oil and that's pipelined out from the Syncrude site and on average we're shipping about 300,000 barrels a day.